According to pictures released on the Twitter account of Marchin Sichi, on September 15, 2023, the 16th Mechanized Division of the Polish Army has conducted its first military exercise with the Borsak, a new generation of amphibious infantry fighting vehicle IFV, that will be entered into service with the Polish Armed Forces. On February 28, 2023, the Polish government revealed a partnership with the domestic firm, Huda Stoloa Walla, HSW, to manufacture and advance 1,400 Borsak Infantry Fighting Vehicles IFVs, in multiple models. Valued at over 10 billion euros, this initiative marks the most significant venture for the Polish defense sector in half a century, as stated by Deputy Prime Minister and Defense Minister Mariusz Blazak. HSW has been entrusted with this among other projects. The Borsak IFV will come in two primary variants including a lighter version currently undergoing final tests with the Polish land forces, and a more robust version, the creation of which is set to commence soon. The Borsak, which translates to Badger, in Polish, is an amphibious infantry fighting vehicle produced by Huda Stoloa Walla, a part of the Polish Armaments Group PGZ. It was developed to replace the BWP-1 IFV, which has been in service with the Polish Armed Forces since 1973 but is now considered obsolete. Regarding its technical specifications, the Borsak has a mass of 28 tons and dimensions that span a length of 7.6 meters, a width of 3.4 meters, and an overall height of 3.34 meters. It is designed to accommodate a crew of three, which includes a commander, gunner, and driver. Additionally, it can transport six troopers. The Borsak's chassis is constructed from welded Armox 500T steel plates of varying thicknesses, arranged to function as spaced armor. Officially, the chassis offers Stanag 4569 level 4 protection from the front and level 3 protection from the sides and rear against ballistic threats. It also provides protection against mine blasts at levels IIA and IIB. The ZSSW-30 turret's armor level hasn't been officially disclosed, but it's believed to offer level 3 protection for both its main structure and the missile container. Additionally, the Borsak is equipped with the Obra-3 soft-kill active protection system, which can detect and counteract threats from laser-guided weapons. Powering the Borsak is a power pack that consists of a 720-horsepower engine, which drives a 6-gear Perkins X300 automatic transmission. The vehicle's running gear includes six dual rubber-lined road wheels on each side, with a hydropneumatic suspension system. The Borsak can be fitted with different types of tracks, including steel tracks or composite rubber tracks impressively, the vehicle is fully amphibious without any special preparations. In water, it's propelled by two water jets with rotating nozzles. On the road, the Borsak can reach a maximum speed of 65 km per hour, and in water, it can achieve speeds of up to 8 km per hour. Its operational range is approximately 550 km. The Borsak is armed with the ZSSW-30 remote control turret, which houses a 30mm chain gun and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. The turret also features two anti-tank guided missiles in a launch container mounted on its right side. This turret can store around 330mm rounds and 250 machine gun rounds in ready-to-use mode. The design of the ATGM launch container offers advantages such as the separation of missiles from the rest of the turret, enhancing the safety of the crew. Both the 30mm automatic cannon and machine gun can be operated and reloaded from inside the turret. The automatic cannon can fire at rates of 200 RPM for standard ammunition and 120 RPM for airburst munitions. The ATGMs can target armor at ranges from 200 meters to 4 kilometers when guided manually, and up to 4.5 kilometers in fire and forget mode.